Welcome back to Factorio Demystified. It's time to finish up our path through the essential basic oil items and get advanced oil processing going. To do that, we need our blue chemical science packs and red advanced circuits. And for the science packs themselves, sulfur, advanced circuits, and engine units are required. Two will be produced every 24 seconds. So I'm building these before we actually get the final ingredient of the advanced circuits because I want to finish up with sulfur. This is the third and final product that needs them. They're just coming this short jaunt up the shoulder here. And then they're gonna come in here, red advanced circuits coming from the north and the underground skipping past these long handed inserters. And that makes everything work just fine. Now, these coming out here, I could put them out on the main bus. I'm gonna not do that just cause it's only about less than half of a belt that we're going to need space-wise for them. And they'll just come down here between the pipes on their way to our research labs. Also worth noting that the ratio here is not exact. One of these every 10 seconds, two of these every 24 seconds. So there'll be some idleness on these assemblers, but I'd rather have that than not have enough, which is what I'd have if I even tried to make this, for example, two of these for three of these. So to use direct insertion, I will accept the idle period. Then we've got iron gear wheels and steel coming in for our engine units and only one assembler of the pipes is needed. And these five will produce a little over 30 per minute by the time all of our assembler upgrades are here. And of course, we can extend this further if we decide that that's necessary to scale up more. So we're gonna move up to red advanced circuits then and these are really a critical turning point because they're going to be useful for far more than just our blue chemical science. Also, a lot of the items that we researched under red and green science now can be built and produced when we get these in place. We'll want to make some additions to our depot, all of that. But first things first, how are we going to make these? Two plastic bars, two electronic circuits, four copper cable, and six seconds crafting time is a key point. So we can just import the plastic electronic circuits. We're gonna start scaling up our production of those, obviously with all of this. But the copper cables, one assembler, can produce four of those per second. So six to one ratio. And what I'm gonna do, which is a very common way of doing this, we're not at all reinventing the wheel, is just place everything in a line. So we're going to have down here, copper cable, and then all of these, will be red advanced circuits. And then we'll bring in our copper this way. And we'll turn it out to get out of the way. Now you may ask, because we're gonna copy this multiple times down because of how many of these are going to be needed. So why am I not putting more copper cable at the beginning and then not worrying about it? Well, the reason for that primarily is simply that I do not want to lock myself into a certain amount. Do I want one of these sections or two or three or four? I can decide that later by just having this belt come around to the outside and then it can come back in over here, however we need to do that. And one side of the belt will be plenty here, by the way, given how long it takes these to work because they only need you know, less than an item per second off of it. Then we're going to bring in plastic and electronic circuits here and output our red circuits here. And then we'll flip this over on the other side and be doing the same thing. So the copper cable will string along this way. And then the copper itself coming in and then I'm actually going to duplicate this again and put it over here. Why am I going to do that? Just again because of that six second time that we're dealing with. Because let's say we only wanted half of the yellow belt, 15 items a second, which doesn't sound like a whole lot. Well, even with the upgrade assemblers, this will produce one of these circuits slightly faster than one every five seconds it would take 72 assemblers, 36 on each side, or six of these stretches of seven assemblers on a side 
boom, 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 stacked next to each other just to produce that. And that's half of a yellow belt. So if we want to scale this up, I mean, hitting a second area here is probably the least we might want to do. And if we want more than that further up the bus, we could. But I think that two of these will be enough. But they're really going to take up a lot of room is the key point. So let's get this hooked up and see how it works. Now all that remains is to hook up our plastic and electronic circuits, but I'm only going to do it on this side. This will be plenty for our current needs, and I don't want to overtax our power grid just yet. We're at 1920 megawatts as it is, and 25 is all that our current steam setup can handle during the overnight period. We can scale this up more, of course, after our power improves. So... You can come across here because I need to move some things around here when it comes to the red circuits coming out. So this is going to go out to the left. And then we're going to have red circuits coming up from above over here, joining. And then this will just come out this way. You come out this way. For the purpose of heading down to our blue chemical science packs and getting them rolling as quickly as possible and prioritizing the flow that way before we go anywhere else. And we'll just keep on hopping down here. And now all of these will begin operating. So that's that part. And then once we turn this on, then you are going to swing down this way. Right into here. Join this, and then this will come out onto our bus, which we should also look at where that's going to go. Then we'll need a longer one here. So if you recall, this area is our iron gear wheels, and that's where we're leaving room for the more advanced circuit types. So we're just going to have a splitter here. And you will go in both directions. And all of that is fully set up and prepared. So we're going to head back down now. We're going to want to restock for our next project, which of course is the actual advanced oil processing. Which will be starting up that research any moment now. But to do that, we're going to make sure we have plenty of chemical plants. I'm going to restock those. I'm going to restock my pipe to grounds and whatever else I may need to get. And then this will process. And I think at this point, it's sort of a good time. I recommend just wandering around a bit in the oil part and just looking at everything, making sure everything's running smoothly. And there's a lot of new stuff here that is different from what we've done before. So I think it's worth taking a moment to just enjoy it. And I don't want to extend any other products just yet because I want all of my effort just going towards this until we have advanced already. That will be coming up next time. Thanks for watching.